morning. We've just arrived at George Scott's yard. Uh, we can see it's minus three, probably about minus seven or eight with a wind chill this morning. And it's we've had a, a, an inch of snow overnight, and we're going to see how how this impacts on his day-to-day -day training uh, regime. Just going to have short lots, short lots. We're not in a position that we're preparing for Cheltenham. We've got plenty of time. Um, to prepare for the spring when most of these horses are going to run so we're not going to be rushing them for the sake of a couple of days so they'll only be out for 15-20 minutes quick exercise back in keep them warm because they don't like this weather as much as us so we've got eight yardmen in here so all the horses will be mucked out in the time that they're um, out playing just like that Well, we got in at 5.30, but obviously it didn't start snowing until... It only had started snowing at 5 o'clock, so it was just a matter of gritting and keeping on top of things. And um, as I say, we're just trying to keep it as efficient and low maintenance today as possible. We're missing a couple of serious days training, but it's not a problem. And um, the other issue is that you obviously haven't got the luxury of a, a covered indoor ride, so you've got to sort of access the heat at... Uh at all times, how does that uh, pan out? Do yeah, just, uh, that's fine. I mean, um, we're lucky in that, as I, as I said before, the heat's well managed. And uh, it's not hammering it down with rain or snow at the moment. And the, this track track's gritted, so. Just got four fillies here having a canter, a very light canter. And they'll only be out for 20 minutes or so. At least three-year-olds? Uh, they're a combo. Yeah, they are actually. They're all three-year-olds, yeah. As, as we did yesterday. So here we are at Henry Spiller's Savile House Yard. We're going to go and see what the challenges have been overnight. What challenges has the weather brought this morning and what can we expect out on the on the heath this morning, Henry? Well, as you can see, we've had a very heavy snowfall last <laughs> night. Um, <laughs> luckily, most of my lads live locally, so um, they haven't had any issues driving or cycling to work. Um, we gritted the yards last night, we put plastic bags over all the taps just to keep them from freezing. Luckily we have some inside taps as well so that's uh, at least we have fresh fresh water as well. Um, our outdoor ride is completely and utterly frozen so um, we'll just hand walk all the horses with their tack on down to the uh, down to the horse path where the heathmen have been salting and gritting all night so it's uh, so it's all clear they do a fantastic job you know they work tirelessly to provide a safe working environment for us in the morning so fair play to them and with no indoor ride or anything you you literally just got to get out every day haven't you yeah we've, we've no choice we have to get you know we have to get the horses out we've got plenty of horses running or sitting on the edge of a run um, you know, we've got some nice early season targets like the Lincoln and stuff, you know, with a couple of horses and want to make sure they get there 100%. So if we have to deal with the weather, we have to deal with it. Just having a warm up jog now. Um, we usually walk a couple of laps beforehand, but you know, on days like this, we just keep the horses moving, keep them warm, get the blood flowing, and uh, you know, the horses get fresh in the colder weather as well to prevent any accidents. So is, has it been as bad as you expected this morning or? Um, probably a little worse this morning. Um, I think you know it's going to be worse again tomorrow and Friday. So um, you know, as you can see the trotting ring here is, is pretty snowed over. The heathmen have done a good job of preparing it for everyone. Um, all the horse walks weren't too bad getting there. Um, just have to see what Warren Hill's like now. It's going to be riding a bit deep and whatever but it's not, not too bad considering. Great job all round, really. No, it is, and no, it's a fantastic service the Jockey Club provide. It's, uh, you know, without them we wouldn't be out this morning. So, um, you know, I just feel sorry for people that have their own facilities and have to do it themselves. It's, uh, you know, obviously mm. the heat tax is quite expensive every month, but you know, you get a very good service provided for it. Um, you know, as you're seeing all along, everything's gritted and. This has been harrowed numerous times already and it's only sort of half past seven. 
Yeah, so what we got here in front? Yeah, uh, it's just launched in place in front. He should run the 4th of April, I think it's quite smart to be honest. Coming up now, we discussed later right, heading for the link, and Street to join it. 